Fedora Ninja Farm Alchemist. This is the best strategy currently in all of Battles 2. And I'm going to be showing you guys exactly why that is in today's video. Because we have some juicy, juicy games. So if you do enjoy, do not forget to drop a like. And as well, we are trying to hit 500,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And with your help, we can do it. So subscribe. And we're going to be using Fedora as our hero. And it looks like our opponent's hero instead is going to be Gwendolyn. And of course, we're using the best strategy in Battles 2. Ninja Farm Alchemist. On the map, Thin Ice Boys. Now, this is definitely a later game map. Wait, where do I want this? Okay, probably like more up here. We're going to set you to last. Beautiful. And then we will have the ninja. Now, we need the ninja to be inside the range of this alchemist. Because we plan on eventually alk buffing our ninja, right? So... I guess we need the ninja right here then. Oh, wait. Wait, I already made a mistake. Okay. You know what? This is good, though. If I make the mistakes and you guys get to see them, then you know not to do them, okay? I definitely should not have went for a ninja here, but instead a round one fedora. So, ask in the chat for that. Oh, no. All the way in the back of the map, too. Okay, so once we upgrade this ninja a little bit more, we should be able to pop these AI balloons a little bit quicker here, okay? And we're going to go for Fedora right here. I transition into Space Greens, by the way, because, yes, are using a farm strategy. We kind of do want to focus on popping these balloons, not immediately as they come out the map, but pretty quickly since he's definitely trying to stall out the rounds here. He obviously cares about the life advantage, too. Look at this. He went for another ninja, so I'm going to balloon boost uh, these Space Yellows just to, like, really scare him here. We might get a tower boost out of him. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's see. Or is it going to upgrade this ninja down here? Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. Oh, and we slow down his eco. Oh, no. Our opponent is definitely under some pressure. And we are able to go for our first farm here before the start of round four. Beautiful. Now, since we are using a farm strategy, I definitely want to be quite aggressive at our opponent. But at the same time, I want to see our strategy in action uh, because it is really freaking strong. The ninja alchemist combo it is probably the best combo currently in all of Battles 2. And then to top it off, we have the best money-making tower, a.k.a. the banana farm within our loadout. So that, that's why the strategy is just unstoppable. The ninja monkey was recently buffed with this update. The base pierce of the ninja was increased from 2 to 3. So it makes a pretty big difference. I know it doesn't seem like that crazy, but trust me, it makes a huge, huge difference. Round 5 is here, though. I'm going to upgrade my farm here. I'm going to go for the stronger acid on this alchemist. And it's really important that you keep uh, your alchemist set to last. You want it constantly, like, attacking in the same position, if that kind of sort of makes sense. Uh, but now that we got the 2 0 farm here, now we can focus a little bit more on our defenses since... I mean, we're fine here, don't get me wrong, but we, we just want to make sure, too, if it's possible, that we can go no lives lost since our opponent obviously really cares about not leaking here right so i think with all that being said to do we send do we send yellows here on round seven probably not yeah we, we shouldn't but i will though go for another two zero zero farm here because he's gonna send me yellows on round seven and uh i'm not gonna be able to fully fully defend they're eventually gonna push through slowly but surely so we'll have to use our level three ability on fedora to help us out and then we might possibly have the tower boost on top of that. So let's see what happens here. Got that. Okay, let's go for Caltrops too. That can technically help us out here a little bit. Or maybe the Alchemist is just goaded. Are we fine here? Mm, use Fedora now. Just help us out again. And he's going to use level 3. Okay, we'll... Ta um, okay, wait. No, Fedora Fedora's goaded. Oh my god. Fedora's actually goaded. Wait, didn't he just leak? What? Did his ninja just like... Wait. No, nah, the Seeking Shuriken's crazy, bro. It is crazy for that. Okay, are we fine against these Space Purples? I hope. Because I just greeted here for a Banana Plantation. Okay, so because these rounds have been stalled out, he's got a pretty good amount of eco, but we also have a pretty good amount of farms currently. Round 9, Space Zebras, because he's using a pure eco strategy. He can't really be aggressive against us, so he really is not in a position to really send us Space Zebras, whereas we are definitely able to okay did go for the alchemist ninja alchemist bro i mean like i said it's the best duo in battles 2 currently so this should definitely be interesting okay did use that level 3 ability surely he did not pop all of those right that's not screen lag please tell there is no there is no way bro get out of here man 
We, we keep on seeing this guy leak, and it's just screen lag every single time. Okay, let's get ready to rush him with quite a bit of zebras here. And a quite a bit of purples over top. No way. Okay, surely he's leaking there. I If he somehow does not leak... Okay, thank you. Don't die... Okay, you're good. See, Ninja Alka, it's pretty goaded. That was a lot. That was a lot of zebras and purples and just balloons in general. Okay, wait, I gotta chill. I'm greed out of my mind here. <laughs> wait, why why are you what what are you doing? What are you doing, bro? <laughs> okay, we're fine though with the Berserker Brew. Even with just having the double shot. That is crazy, man. Again, we can just greed so much because we have the ability to sell our farms at any point in time. Like now. And use level three. Because I do not want to cause a massive Rico farm there. We should be good against that as well. Yeah, yeah, we're good. I mean, I mean, okay, now nah, we're good. We're good. Okay, wait, let it go. No, Fedora, no, Fedora, no, Fedora, no, Fedora. Don't steal my pot. Okay, Fedora, you stole some of my pops. It's fine. Let's just go for this again. All right, I did not mean to send those rainbows back to equal with group blacks here. Oh my goodness, man. I, I wanted to go. For the lead to gold for the round 14 AI lead balloons. But I, I kind of threw there. You know what, too? Let me do this. Let me just immediately stop equaling once again. Oh, wait. What? Level 3? Dude, look at level 3. Look how goaded level 3 is, bro. Level 3 is so goaded on Fedora. Which is why I have her as my hero. I mean, she's the newest hero to battles, too, as well. Uh, but let's go for a rubber to gold here. Since he's sending us constant eco, we can actually just make money off of all of his eco balloons. Which is wonderful man wonder freaking full now we probably could get a rush through over on his side because i feel like with ninja alk definitely fedora fits a lot better than gwendolyn don't get me wrong too gwendolyn's good but she actually did get nerfed in the most recent update so uh she's not as good and again she just like doesn't pair up well with ninja alk the other hero that i would recommend with a strategy like this is ocean Oben, since Oben directly buffs ninjas quite a bit it actually just buffs all magic monkeys, so uh, he can buff the alchemist as well, which is pretty nice. But if you pair the ninja out combo and ocean open on top of that, dude, your ninjas are just really unstoppable. It's just that Fedora currently is super, super strong with her abilities and whatnot. Level 3, level 7, level everything, bro. She's just cracked, man. But it is round 18 now. We probably could send our opponent something. Uh, I mean, we are using a farm strategy. I kind of would like to be aggressive. Let's go for a rubber to gold down here. And let's now transition into uh, pink eco. Because I kind of want to shoot the eco game a little bit higher in a situation like this. Since uh, it's inevitable. Not inevitable, but we're most likely going late game here. Okay, so. Fortify Moab. I I'm not going to send. Oh, wait. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. You're No, no, no. You're not, you're not getting away with zebra eco here. And I'm going to balloon boost this as well. Just to scare you. Okay. Well, he went for stronger stim immediately, stopped his eco, and used level 3. So, although we balloon boosted there, and we did not get a tower boost out of him, I still feel like it was kind of worth... Okay, we'll go for another rubber to gold here. We're good here. He's sending regens, bro. Stronger stim then. Okay, we're good here. We're good, we're good, we're good. Now, our rubber to golds are making a lot of money from all these zebras. Maybe set you to close. Yeah. That should be good. We're going to be obviously fine against this mob here, too. Let's go for double banana plantation here. Beautiful. We'll try to maybe hit, like, I don't know, 3k eco? Is that too high? It might be. I kind of want to send him a rush. Sniper. Ninja Alk Sniper. Didn't I just use that recently? I feel like I did. Not going to latch head. I feel like I did. Okay. We'll go for a marketplace here. We won't rush him. You know what? For this game, he, you know, he sent us a few rushes, kind of, sort of. But we're going to take this late game because I just want to show you guys how much money we're going to have. It, it's going to be honestly ridiculous. And, and we're going to just be able to send him so many fortified BADs that he quite literally won't be able to keep up. Oh, what the? We could just go Chains of Fate here. Chains of Fate! Yeah! Chains of Fate, those BFBs, baby! Chains of Fate goes crazy. Oh, wait. We're good here. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Do not worry. 
Do not worry. With this, we should be fine. I'll use this now. Okay. And that should be able to clean up everything pretty much. Okay, yeah, we're good. Sell you. All right, so that, that was a little scary. I, I ain't gonna lie. Maybe hit that perfect 3K eco mark. Beautiful. He might send us another rush here. Gotta watch out for that. Um, but yeah, I just don't think like a fortified ZOMG even right now would be necessarily worth it. I might even sell these alchemists at this point because now he's not going to be sending us eco for the rest of the game. He doesn't want these rubber to golds to be making money. Oh, that must have been on accident. Okay, but we could sell these for about $8,000. We can sell these for around probably $10,000, $18,000 worth of settling power. Okay, we should be able to then go for this here yeah beautiful we got the monkey wall street before the start of round 25 3000 eco come in every six seconds now i did sell this though so let's get this back on the map okay i don't need a pixel perfect spot bull tricks on that man come on now <laughs> but we do have to start preparing our defenses a little bit more for the round 26 ddt so i guess i'll have the master bomber like kind of sort of more back here wait where do i want my alchemist my permanent brew. Can I have it like somewhere up here? Yeah, yeah. We'll have it like right there. It looks like right here. This will be within range. Beautiful. Go for this. Okay. Upgrade a sticky bomb here. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. We could always use two. Our level uh, seven ability, the sacrificial ability, but I don't know. I won't use that just yet, I guess. We do want to go for the double central market here because we're going to sell these farms into a B central. I do. I probably should prepare uh, these ninjas a little bit more as well, by the way. Like, in case I need to go for, like, some shinobis or something. So, at any point in time, he can rush us. He can send us DDTs on now. Okay. And, yeah, he is. Okay, we're good there. I'll probably go for a double sticky. Yeah, we're good. We good, we good, we good. Now he's sending us a bunch of rainbows for some reason. Okay, round 28. Sell, sell. Boom. B Central, Monkey Wall Street. Sent us the DDT. That kind of lowered his eco game a little bit, but, you know, he, he's still chilling here. Don't get me wrong. He's got a lot of money coming in. Now, I don't know. I feel like I could, like, technically win this game right here, right now with all out DDTs. But, uh, you know what? We'll, we'll take it later. We'll, we'll, we'll take it later just so we can send a crap ton of fortified BADs. Now, I don't know when exactly I want to send those, but did he go for the permanent brew? He actually did not. Wait, he's selling a lot. Is he is he planning to rush me? I mean, I can just go for Master Bomber, bro, and then I'm fine. He went for permanent brew. Okay. So now that's going to be able to start permanently buffing all of his towers, of course. But the thing is... Look at the towers he has to permanently buff. It's nothing. He doesn't have his times 10 shinobis. Bro, he literally sold every... <laughs> Master Bomber. <laughs> he sold everything. Wait a minute. Bro, why would you just sell everything like that? Okay. Th this definitely calls for me sending him fortified BADs immediately here on round 30. Let's make all that money. Let's send that fortified BAD right now. Surely, like, he, he finds on countering, right? Oh. Oh. I mean, hey, that's fine. I mean, look at the money we got. Go for Grandmaster. Okay, upgrade all of these. Okay, yeah. Time six, seven, eight, nine. I'm not worried about the Burner Brew, by the way. I am not worried about that. Send him that. Okay, got the times 10. I know it's sloppy. I know it's really sloppy. Okay, we're good here. Don't worry. Master Bomber. I'll sabble these just to be safe. And, uh... Kind of scary, not gonna lie. Let's tower boost this. Oh, this is only times eight. Shoot. We just gotta pop off the fortified BAD lair, and then we're good. Bloom boost. Oh, wait. Yeah, we could use level seven as well. Kind of forgot about that. But I don't really want to sack anything. Oh, wait. I just changed the faded. Nothing. Oops. Okay. We're going to play this safe here. We'll BMA the insides. 
Play it safe, play it safe, play it safe. Okay, BMA those insides. Beautiful. Beautiful. And now I can sacrifice you. It barely increased the speed. I literally sacrificed a tier 5, bro. Like, what? Oh, okay. He just ends up surrendering. All right, bro. I mean, both of us used the Ninja Alchemist combo right there. We made tons and tons of money. And despite this guy having an insane eco game, insane sniper farming game, he just could not handle the constant fortified BADs. I want to play one more for y'all, though. So I'll catch y'all there. And this time, our opponent has Agent Jericho as their hero. And we're not going to make the same mistake twice. We're going to be starting off with the Alchemist right here. And yep. <laughs> yeah, dude, like I said, Ninja Alchemist. I already know he's running with Ninja Alchemist. It is taking over battles, too. It is crazy. But instead of going for a round one Ninja like we did in the last game, we're instead going to go for a Fedora. And uh, we're definitely going to be leaking some lives here, by the way, which kind of sort of sucks. But we're, we're not going to worry about the life advantage with this one. Okay, you know what? Just put her down the map. Didn't get that pixel perfect placement. Kind of hurts my soul, but it's fine. As long as we have her on the map, that is the main thing. Agent Jericho 2 on round 2. Okay, so that's a good thing for us. Start going for a ninja over on our side too. See? Oh, wait. Please tell... Chat. That This alchemist better buff this ninja. I swear if it doesn't. And yep, there's his ninja. I do find it weird though that his alchemist is all the way up here. There's no way that's within range. No shot. Okay, let's grief for a farm. I'm going to leave some lives because of that though, but it's all good. All, all good. Let's go for Sharp Shuriken now, though. Beautiful. Yeah, definitely this Alchemist. I mean, it's close to the Agent Jericho, if anything. And you don't want to Alk buff Agent Jericho. Okay, this kind of sucks. Let's just go for that. Let's play it safe. Let's play it safe here, chat. Because in the last game, we didn't have to worry about Space Whites, really. Okay, level 3, too. Because I'm, like, out here struggling. What the? Okay, double shot, too. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm really struggling here. I got to use up all my money. Okay, because he's using that level 3 ability. No, don't collect. Yeah, so while his level 3 is active, it like slowly takes away money. And so if we have no money on hand, then he has no money to steal from us. So we got to make sure, if possible, that we use up all the money on hand that we have so that he quite literally can't steal anything from us. We finally got the 200 farm here. Okay, so th this guy, I, I guess, is using a Purico strategy. He, he just is one of those players that just space Eco's the entire early game, and then over defends like crazy mid game. So, yeah, I didn't plan on rushing in mid game anyway. Ninja Alchemist is just too good of a combo. So, kind of sucks because like I, I wanted my opponents to rush me, but I think at this point, everyone understands that this is just the definitive meta. Like straight up, I mean, at least these two towers. The the third tower having uh, the banana farm here, you could definitely change it up a bit. Because like a few videos ago, I think we used the blue. You can use heli. There's a lot of different options that you can use. Uh, let's finally go for the banana plantation though before the start of round nine here. And I think even on round nine, I'm gonna send my opponent space zebras. Wait, they went for a lead to gold, right? What in the world? Okay, and they're still in our cash too. See, this is like really hard to avoid. Let's go for that valuable banana so first. Oh, you went for a rubber to gold? Get out of here, bro. Are you kidding me? Nah, that's actually crazy. I'm just not going to send... Or actually, let's just send group dreads. Because if I send space zebras, his rubber to gold is going to be able to make more money. Wait. You're dead mid-game. Wait, you're actually so... Like, no. He's greeting so hard here. No, guys. I don't... No. I'm going to let him get away with it, though. If I wanted to, right here, right now, we could get the win. Okay? Just for the record, but... For content purposes, we're just going to let him be, okay? Round 12 is here. Space Rainbow is to this. Although, wait, shoot. He's going to make a lot of money from the rubber to gold. Oh, my. Well, just watch him struggle with the Space Rainbows, though. Watch. We'll probably have to tower boost this. Please tell me you don't die to this, right? See? Look. Look at that. Brother, like, you, you have the right idea. You're just executing it completely wrong. Completely wrong, bro. Okay, let's go for our own rubber to gold. Or let's go actually all the way up here. Set you too close. He's going to steal our cash. Okay, I got to send him something. Use up all the money on hand. I should probably eco with yellows. Because then his rubber to go will actually make less money. Uh, if we eco with yellows, okay? Let's collect all those now. Beautiful. Wait, since he's also ecoing too constantly. Yeah, let's, let's hold our eco for a little bit. Go for this. 
Okay, so I guess it will like attack. Maybe I should have said it differently, but it's still attacking some of the player sand balloons. So we'll make a little bit of money there. There you go. That's what you should have done originally. Okay, but I'm Mr. Nice Guy here, so I spared you. Okay, balloon adjustment is starting to kick up a little bit. If he goes for another rubber to gold, we completely stop ecoing, by the way. I don't care how low our eco is. Yep, just stop ecoing. 1350 eco. Don't care, bro. Do not care. <laughs> that is crazy. I probably should. Okay, let's send him a fortify him lap. Let's do it. I hope he doesn't die, but like he he's greeting too hard. He's equal wolf. Pinks too. Okay, he stole the rubber to gold. Yo, that's actually that's hilarious. Okay. I don't know. He might balloon jetsu? Okay. He should be fine with that. He should, he should, he should. And we, we got him to sell that rubber to gold, so now we can hit an even higher amount of eco. Now, if you go for that again though, okay, supply drop. Bro, you're just going for all different things. Oh my god. He's going for everything in the book. Alright, we'll we'll go for as well up here a marketplace or for a marketplace sorry wait like look i'm still greeting here bro wait level three i actually needed level three right there i'm not gonna lie okay let me let me chill on the eco in a little bit get up the balloon jitsu because <laughs> i was freaking about to die to ai right there that would have been embarrassing okay are we fine against round 21 though wait maybe not maybe i should go for stronger stim yep go for stronger stim hurry 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 stronger stim no, don't tell me. Bro. Bro. Okay, Ninja Alk sucks. You heard it here first. Ninja Alk Okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But, like, bro. That's crazy, though. Oh, wait. Because I'm tower boosted that, that's actually really not good. That's actually really, really not good. I'll have my future Master Bomber, like, right here. I'll wait for Chains of Fate. Okay, I cannot wait for that. Cannot wait for that, bro. Wait. Please, 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 please defend. Okay, we're good. Not even, not even close, bro. Not, not, not even close. Wait, chat, can I go for my monkey Wall Street before the end of this round? I don't think so, unless I sell this for 5k, 4k, 4k, okay. 17k, maybe even this? 21k? Dude. Wait, I completely botched this, bro. What happened? How do I have, like, such low money right now? My money game is terrible. I'm literally going to have to sell everything if I want to even have a chance of going for this. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh. I sold everything except for Fedora. <laughs> I should not be getting away with this, bro absolutely not but we did in fact pull off the monkey wall street i sold the wrong farm too whatever you know what it is fine as long as we got it up that is what truly truly matters now i, I will have to watch out for round 26 ddts knowing this guy he's probably gonna be rushing me right okay it's round 29 here finally just got the banana central so i don't think our farm game is as good but that's because our eco game isn't as good and two we are both popping the balloons immediately and uh this guy went for grandmaster but just like the last game guys i i think we should put him out of his misery and immediately rush him in a situation like this if he rushes us we're gonna have to sell all of our farms like just straight up i barely okay i'm probably gonna have to sell that Okay, I literally, like, I don't even care. Don't even care, bro. Get out of here. Fortified BAD. That scared the heck out of me. They were regen. That was not fun. Although, I believe balloons stop regening after round 30. So, maybe that technically happened on round 30. I'm not exactly sure. But, yeah, he, he just dies to this. Doesn't matter what he goes for. Does not matter. Of course, you're going to steal my cash, though. Not much that I can do about that, I guess. This has times eight. Is that times nine now? Yep. Just make sure that we have the times 10 Shinobi tactic stack on it. And uh, yeah, you're going to sell all your ninjas or snipers. I'm sorry. Try to counter with DDTs. Be my guest, brother. Be my guest. Yep. I don't even... Like, that's the thing. I don't even need to tower boost this. Look at that. That's how OP 
Master Bomber is, guys. You cannot counter with DDTs. It just, yep, go ahead and surrender. Wait, is that two surrenders in a row? I think so. Wait, I can't remember if he surrendered or not. But, dude, you guys see the power of Ninja Alchemist. Everybody is using it. It is on top. If you guys did enjoy this video, do not forget to drop a like. And as well, if you happen to be new to the channel, we're trying to hit 500k by the end of the year. And with your help, we can do it. So subscribe. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out this video where the Sniper Monkey is crazy now. See ya.